Don't try to get away from me! Jacob, darling, do join me. To our fruitful partnership. And to the shiny new engines now in my possession. Back to business. Milner's fled to the Thames, occupied with securing his ferry. It's all he has left. Hmm, protected it with his life, no doubt. The very thing I want you to take. <laughs> Just kill him. That's not your first glass of champagne, is it? Success is more intoxicating than alcohol, Mr. Fry. Then save a glass for me. Now, what would it take to draw out Starek's paws? The sight of his fairies in flames, perhaps. to sink Milner's enterprise.
What the bloody hell? Attaway led me to you, not Staric. Then they were gonna gather again. I should never have come between Mr. Staric and Miss Attaway. Family always stay together in the end. What do you mean, their family? Time for Pearl and I to have a real conversation. You're embarrassing yourself! I've got him! I was certain he knew that I belonged to the Order and was there to end me. Imagine my delight when he told me his true purpose. An assassin helping the Templar cause. Isn't that delicious? It's sickening. It's business, cousin. Look at the big pig. You glower too much, cousin. You will get your engines back. Our new motorized buses will bring us both a lot of money. I'll need to arrange proper transport for the engines to get back to my factory. I want you at Waterloo, personally, to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Of course. May the Father of Understanding guide us. 
today and in all of our future endeavors, cousin. Waterloo Station. Doors jammed. Again? Just give it a shove. Wait. <gasps> Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Static keeps sending around to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh, dear. They never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right, then. Oh, uh, oh wait. Uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think.
gentlemen. Oh, I, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we, Bess? You got one of them telling what's it's in here, ain't ya? You? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but halting, and his operations are about to turn pear shaped. You have the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. <laughs> apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, you dropped another one, Bill. You little sod. Well, ain't me, Bez. Oh, oh, God blimey, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Right, tell us where you keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, well, let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. A plum? Don't help me. I feel all wobbly, Baz. You have been shot by your fellow. Oh, no! Bravo, Alec. Thanks to you, Jacob. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. <laughs> I found myself rather witty, too. Well, make some more bombs and let's sort out Steric's propaganda machine, shall we? Got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. Let's get to it then. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that shooting star? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbours the truth about the obnoxious draft. Good on you, Alan. But you can't go knocking on everyone's door. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities and villains gave. <laughs> or rats in the sewers. But if we can eradicate a source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. Let's crack on. Here we are. We will have to get in without being detected, Mike. While I stun them, you sneak inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Oh, 
Have to cross over here. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Jacob Eve, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. Uh, no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> 